Hi, thank you so much for watching. It's Talia Rose, and I'm here to give you a quick cloth diaper tutorial. For those of you who are interested in maybe starting this adventure of cloth diapering, um, or either just a few questions that you need to clear up, because it can be a little confusing and overwhelming with all the brands and all the different types out there. So after much trial and error and research and money wasted, let me go ahead and tell you what I found. There are basically two main types of cloth diapers. There is the traditional pre-fold, that really hasn't changed over the last couple decades and you just have a nice thick piece of fabric that you wrap around your baby or fold and insert in the cover and uh, thankfully because some new developments have made it much easier you no longer have to use the old safety pin and stab your baby that is archaic they now have these beautiful fabric fasteners called snappies and these are very cheap you get them in packs of threes for do just dollars a piece it will hold the fabric in place so no more stabbing baby yay the next kind of diaper that I want to show you um, is called a pocket diaper and this diaper is wonderful it is a little bit more expensive than the pre-fold diaper but in my opinion if you're gonna just go all the way and start cloth diapering go for this kind it's awesome <laughs> It is then all held in by a nice little cover here, and the cover is lined with plastic. It's kind of like a nylon feel on the outside, and it's it's pretty thin, um, easy to clean and wash, and this just keeps the moisture in and away from the clothes. Now, one complaint that I heard is pretty common among mom's cloth diapering is that this form of cloth diapering can cause rash to your baby. Now, my baby hasn't had an issue with that, but what I did find was that if you cut a small piece of felt fabric, which is, I mean, so cheap, and cut it to fit the length of the diaper, this is the this type of fabric will, even though it's wet, the moisture will sink through and it'll still feel dry and give that moisture-free surface that your baby's bottom desires. If you are having problems with rashing, don't throw out the cloth diaper in just yet. Go ahead and try this little trick. With this type of cloth diaper, uh, this pre-fold that I purchased, I purchased a one-size-fits-all. What's really nice is this will adjust to your baby size, so you only have to buy one. Very, very durable, and also what's nice about these, you can use these shells several times. Uh, so if your baby has a dirty diaper, you change it. As long as there's no uh, residue on the shell, you can just go ahead and use it again. Usually for about three or five uses is what I'm able to get out of it before I have to wash it again. So that's nice and um, it's very cheap. I got a box of 12 pre-folds and three shells for $50 from walmart.com. It was delivered to my house. It was wonderful and this brand is Econobum, which is the poor line of bum genius, um, which is a little bit more familiar for those of you that have been out there looking. Now, it is designed pretty much like a uh, typical traditional um, throwaway disposable diaper and um, in that it's very quick and easy and it's ready to go. Um, the shell is a nylon uh, outer lining um, with a nice good soft uh, kind of felt lining. That's sort of what we're mimicking by doing the felt cut on the pre-fold. It helps keep your baby's bottom feeling uh, nice and dry. And then on the inside here, in the little pocket they've sewn, nice big thick absorbent fabric that will catch all the mess. It's really easy to use. Once you wash it, you just pre-stuff it and you get it all ready to go at the changing table so you can just throw it on like a regular diaper. It really works wonderful. This also works with all sizes so you can just snap to adjust it and it's really nice. There's also a Velcro um, model of this kind. If you don't really like the snaps at the top, you can do Velcro, which is a little bit faster. I've just found that I like the snaps better for some reason. So you can buy one of each and see which one you like more. Uh, I found that you probably, if you're going to do 100% cloth tapering, you're probably going to need about 24 cloth diapers or so, give or take. It can be expensive to start up your stash because it's a big initial investment, but it's a long, long run payoff. So I purchased a few of these and a few of these. I kind of mix and matched. And it's actually been great. It, they've complemented one another. It helped me start doing cloth diapering with uh, less of an initial investment as I had originally thought. You might be wondering why should I even bother using cloth diapers? They have great disposable diapers out there. 
well. Uh, first off, disposable diapers are not meant for longevity, so the chemicals that they use in them to make them ultra absorbent and yet not valuable enough to keep around is really harsh on the baby's bottom. And my son um, uh, breaks out in rashes when I do use disposable diapers. His bottom seems much happier in these. So just from personal experience, um, I found that these are a lot nicer. If you think about it, your baby's bottom is covered 24-7 in a diaper and you're gonna wanna use the highest quality fabric um, and material to sit next to your baby's skin rather than uh, something that really wasn't intended for long, long purpose use. Because it is true, it takes everything within you not to throw something away once your baby has pooped on it. Um, even if you spend a lot of money on it and it's supposed to um, last for years and years and years, once you get really nasty messes on this, you just want to wad it up and throw it away. It's like, why do I have to continue to deal with it? Um, especially if you've used disposable diapers in the past, it can be a rough transition. Also, cloth diapering is much more affordable in the long run than using disposable diapers. You Again, you do need to make sure that you have um, enough funds for that initial investment, but with maybe $150 or so, uh, you can get yourself into cloth diapers that will take your baby from uh, newborn to hell potty training. So um, it really ends up being a great penny saver in the end as well as if you have other kids you can totally reuse them and then you're only buying uh, one set so I think it's great also it's great for the economy you're not throwing away um, you know hundreds of diapers a year and filling up the landfills so for me it was very much a decision of finances but now another big question on your mind and probably one of the biggest questions is do they work as well as a disposable diaper? Yes, I have found that they do. Um, they have different inserts for the pocket diapers if you want to use them for overnight or if your child ends up being a heavy wetter where you can double stuff them and then in that case I found that they even work better than disposable diapers that I've used. Keep in mind you will have blowouts in both disposable and reusable diapers but some days as as you moms know there is just not enough diaper to contain the fury that happens. So you will have blowouts in these just like you do have blowouts in disposable diapers but I haven't found that it's more common. Now what accessories do you need to accompany your cloth diapering experience? Well um, in addition to the snappies which I found as invaluable um, and uh, even the uh, little felt inserts um, the only thing I would say that you absolutely need to purchase is the diaper sprayer which attaches to your toilet uh, almost like a faucet and it uses unused water to spray the contents of the diaper into the toilet. So for those of you moms that maybe have used cloth diapers um, without one, you've known that once your child has soiled the material, you then have to go and kind of like swirl it in the toilet or take it outside and spray it off and uh, it makes a mess everywhere and it's just it's not a really good way to uh, cleanse the diaper um, before throwing it in the hamper. So the sprayer works really good, has high pressure, it is able to uh, wipe the mess away um, with no hassle, and then you just throw it in the hamper and wash it. Um, I found that I need to wash the diapers about every three to five days, and if you purchase about 24, that'll take you uh, the three to five days. Then, as a bonus, you're not smelling that stinky aroma in the nursery because um, you're not throwing away soiled diapers. They're rinsed and cleaned and ready to go um, uh, into the washing machine and uh, back on the shelves to be reused. Now when I switched to cloth diapers, I dove in with both feet and I'm glad that I did because it can be discouraging in the beginning when you're looking at, at a poopy diaper that you then have to wash and keep. <laughs> so it can be frustrating, but hang in there. It does get better, it does get easier, and as you get into the routine of it, you'll become efficient and um, your baby will be happy, your paycheck will be happy, and the environment will be happy. So I think that it's worth it uh, in the long run. So I hope that this was helpful and informative. I know that I've absolutely loved the switch to cloth diapers and in addition to switching to cloth diapers, I've also switched to cloth wipes. Um, those are reusable and it's been amazing and I was very, very skeptical at first so I really didn't, I made a small initial investment into that and um, realized that it was absolutely wonderful. So I have another video on using reusable wipes and I would love for you to watch it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Good luck.